Hi everyone, welcome back to SRC's recipe challenge. This week on our challenge, we're gonna be making trash can nachos inspired by the one and only Guy Fieri. So what you're gonna need for your trash can, trash can nachos is a tin can that has a bottom, so you can see right through it. We're gonna need some uh, ground beef, some salsa. You can also uh, additionally use like pico de gallo or whatever you really want for toppings. Um, you're gonna need something to season your meat with. Um, some sour cream. We're using cheese and then some chips. You can also add any other toppings that you want. You could add beans, yeah, pico de gallo, whatever you're feeling. Um, but that's what you need to make this and we'll just jump right in. So you're going to want to start by preheating your oven to 350 degrees. Once you have that going, you want to start one of your burners and put it on a medium heat and then get your ground beef cooking up. While you're cooking your ground beef, you're going to want to make sure you put some seasoning on there. Uh, you can use taco mix or really whatever you like. We just use seasoning salt because that's what we had and you just wanna make sure your meat is fully cooked and there's no pink left when you are done. So it should look something like this. We also drained all the fat from our meat, so you can do that too. And then you're gonna to wanna to take a tin can and get it on a foil bottom of some sort um, and then just start with putting in your chips. So you wanna get them as flat as possible and covering the whole base. So we started with chips and then next is some meat. And then finally, we're gonna add the rest of our toppings. So for our toppings, we had some grated cheese and sour cream and salsa, but you can use whatever you'd like and just make sure you're layering it up real nice there. So that's our first layer in, and now I'll just start again. So put another base layer of chips at the bottom, um, get it nice and flat and smushed in, and then start again with the meat, cheese, sour cream, and salsa, and repeat the process until you're at the top of the can. Once it's all ready, you want to very, very carefully um, get your nachos in the oven and make sure you remember to set a timer. We put our timer for 10 minutes, but really you just want to go until it looks all melted and is warm in the middle. Once your nachos are all done and the timer goes off, again, you want to very, very carefully Pull your nachos out of the oven. Maybe get some adult supervision with this part. Um, but once they're out, they're all good to go. And now for the final reveal, lift your tin can up and have a look at your tower of nachos. Delicious.
So there you have it, guys, our Guy Fieri trash can inspired nachos. Um, I think they turned out pretty good. Oh. <laughs> Cheesy.